there we have the bedroom. I hate it. You know what, we're gonna put the cooker in without an extractor fan, but probably not the best thing to do in a kitchen, really. I feel like you might need that. This is not a very nice looking room, not gonna lie. Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to The Sims 4, but every room is a different expansion pack. I've been away from The Sims now for about a year, so there have been a lot of expansion packs added that I've never played with. That's gonna make this challenge either really interesting or really difficult for me, but I'm excited to find out. A big thank you to Big Seller for inspiring this challenge, and now I'm going to show you the house that I'll be decorating today. So this is the house, or should I say factory, as it looks nothing like a house, and I would honestly not like to live here at all. This challenge is gonna make this house really nice or make it look even worse if that's possible. How I'll be doing this is using this spinning wheel which has every expansion pack included in it. We're gonna spin and see what we get first, so let's go. Ooh, eco lifestyle. Never heard of her. When you enter the house, you enter the living room, so that will be the first room that we decorate today. We are very eco-friendly, so we don't have an option for the TV. No entertainment for our sims. What about a sofa? Oh gosh, what are these? We have the bougie burlap sofa. I kind of like it actually. Then we have the seat of cultivation. Um, not sure about grass in the house. And we also have this one, which looks like somebody threw it out into the trash. Somebody's tried to repair it by laying a throw over the top. This is gonna be a mess, isn't it? I need to see the swatches. What are we working with? I do not like either of these, not gonna lie. I do not know what we could do if we don't have a TV. Maybe just a fireplace, that could be cute. I'm going with this sofa because it matches this chair. Didn't want to have to do that, but I have to. I don't know what to do. I told you there were not many options. This is very hard. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna see what else we can add in here. Ooh, the dark wood is kind of nice though. So I'm gonna add this over here in the hallway. Do we have coffee tables? We do in like this really nice dark wood again. I think we're gonna have to stay with the dark wood theming. What about lights? We do have lights. That's kind of cute. I'm not gonna put that above the coffee table. Do we have a fireplace maybe? Oh, we do. An industrial fireplace, actually. I feel like the coffee table is way too close to the fire. That may cause an accident. Ooh, planter walls. This is cute. But would they die if they were placed next to the fire? Probably. Cute, now can I change the color into a dark brown? Yes, I can. Oh, I like it. I'm gonna have it in black, actually. This place is looking very empty. Maybe I can just fill it up with plants. I don't know what else I can add into this living room. It's a very eco-friendly living room, so there are not many options, to be honest. No artwork, no TV, no statues. Maybe I add in a table over here and I put a plant on it, because apparently that's all we have in this house. It's just plants. This house is so boring. I would not want to live here. Maybe I add some living walls to the back here. Look at that, okay. That actually helps to make this a little less boring. Not sure about the rug, but there are not many options to work with, so it's gonna have to stay. I just feel like this wall is very boring. Is there anything I can add there? Maybe another table? There we go. So now that all of the furniture has been added into this room, I need to change the walls and the floor. Oh wow, we have a lot of options. And by a lot of options, I mean two. Let's have this dark wood and then for the wallpapers, what do we have? If I had to choose one out of all of them, I'm probably gonna go with this one, but I need to change the color of it. I hate the walls. Why are they like this? Okay, maybe this one, but not in this color. Honestly, I did not have many options to work with. So there we have it, my living room. Very eco-friendly and very boring. Now let's move on to the next room. What are we gonna get? Let's have a look and see. Island living. Let's make this room here into a study. We have one option for a desk, which is this one. We have only one option for a chair, which is this one. Not really a fan of these blinds, but we don't have many options, so I'm gonna have to go with them. They don't fit the windows very well. They're gonna have to do. They're gonna have to stay. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, there's quite a lot. Look, there's even a camera. There's a canoe. Shall I just put a canoe in the room and be done with it? Oh, wait, another canoe or a fish trap. 
I do not have many options, do I? Anything? Can anything go in this room? Oh, okay, we have, we have lamps. That's a good start. So let's have a look and add this table maybe. I'm gonna put this table in the corner over here. Maybe this circular table can go in the corner over there. Ooh, a rug. Can I change the color of this? Oh gosh, they're all very out there, aren't they? Maybe just the white one. Oh, I can make all the furniture white. That looks cute. Can I change the blinds to be white too? I don't like those blinds at all. And because I can't change the blinds, I'm gonna have to stick with the funky colored furniture. This is so difficult. I did not realize it was gonna be this hard. Ooh, a floor light, cool. Okay, I'm gonna add that in the corner. So we have a lamp now, that's nice. What's this? Have a bowl, that's, that can go on the table because that's kind of cute. Spears, maybe some nice decoration. Put those on the wall. Ooh, this dresser could go in here too. I know this is not a bedroom, but I am running out of things to put in this room. This room is a mess. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh, this is actually so cool. I wish I'd have seen this earlier. I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff at the bottom here and include this giant tiki bar because I love it. Ooh, there's a shelf. I don't know what I could put on it, but there's a shelf. Can I put the camera on the shelf? I can. Is that one of the only things I can add on the shelf here? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can add on the shelf. This makes me sad. There we have it, a study, but it kind of needs new flooring and new wallpaper. Which wallpaper should I use? They all look awful. <laughs> Maybe just this one. Yeah, that'll do. And then for the floor, we can use this one. Also, I need lights in this room. This room is so dark. What light can we use? Pendant trio lights. There we go. That is our island living study room, including a bar because why not? It's time for the kitchen now. What are we gonna get this time? Cottage living. Can I make a cottage living kitchen? The kitchen of my cottage core dreams. Okay, let's start off with the fridge. Love it. Looks like the only overhead storage we can have are these. So I'll have to use the countertops to match. Overhead storage over there. Now I need counters. Maybe I'll place the fridge there and delete that. Oh gosh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Okay, things are starting to come together. All right, let's get our cooker. You know what, we're gonna put the cooker in without an extractor fan, but probably not the best thing to do in a kitchen, really. I feel like you might need that. We don't have enough room for an extractor fan, so we can't use it. What else can we put in here? There's a little rabbit. I love that too. Tea set, oh my gosh. I'm getting carried away. I need to carry on decorating. I'm gonna have to use these blinds again. Not really my favorite, but we don't have many options. They don't even cover the window properly, but I can't make them longer. Maybe we don't have blinds, delete those. We do have stools, which gives me an idea to make these into a breakfast bar. I feel like these would be better for a breakfast bar so you can actually put your feet under. There we go. Let's have the tea set there. The hen can go in the corner. I'm gonna put this little rabbit over here and this pot can go on the cooker. I'm gonna grab some stools so we can actually set this breakfast bar. Cute, we can sit three people there. And are there any plants? Oh, there are. So I'm gonna add that in the corner. All right, so that's pretty much all of the kitchen options that I can use. I just need to add the sink in, which can go here. I'm gonna move this basket over to the corner. And now I'm just gonna see what items we have in general. Maybe I can fill this place out a bit. Ooh, cute. We have a kitchen shelf here. Where can I put that? I'm gonna add it to this back wall. Oh my goodness, there are so many different items I can put in this kitchen. Look at these pictures. Too big for the walls. Maybe I can shrink them down. There we go. That's much better. Oh my gosh, there's a little wreath. I'm gonna put it up with the door. I love it. Look at this little mushroom. I just feel like it has to be included in the build even though it makes no sense in the kitchen, but it is just so cute, I can't resist it. What do we have for lighting? Oh, I kinda like this light. Let's add this one in here. I think I'm actually gonna delete this basket and I'm gonna replace it with this really cute little table because I love it. So now I need to figure out what color scheme I wanna go with. The best way to do this is to see what flooring and walls I have. I think I wanna use one of these wallpapers. These are really busy and really fun. Oh, I kinda like this old stone. Okay, when I think of cottages, I think very dark and cozy and warm. I've used a very dark color scheme throughout the entire house already, so maybe I should make this kitchen 
bright. Let's have a look at what options I have. Okay, what about that? That is so bright. <laughs> I kind of love this wallpaper, it's so cute. It's so bright. You know what, I'm just gonna go with it. And then for the floor, I'm gonna go with the wood. This is actually so <laughs> tragic. What a mess, this place is a mess. I would not wanna live in this house at all. Nothing matches, that is the only problem with this. I was a big fan of this challenge until I found out that nothing matches. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with like a dark theme in this room again, which I just didn't wanna do. But I've been left with no other option. You know what though, I don't hate the red. We're going with a red theme. This kitchen is insane. Okay, there we go, our cottage living kitchen. Am I ever gonna make a room in this house that I enjoy because I feel like I'm not? Okay, time for this room. I have no idea what it's gonna be. Let's spin and see what we get. Cats and dogs. Ooh, maybe we can make it into like a cat and dog playroom. Let's go ahead and use this wallpaper as it's very nice to see a bright color in this house. And let's change the floor. I'm gonna use white again. I just need to have some brightness in this house. Awesome, we have some really nice stuff to choose from. Because this is gonna be an animal room, of course we're gonna need a cat tree. We need to get a cat in here. A food bowl. This is very simple and I am here for it. We need a painting for the wall, one that will actually fit in this gap. Okay, let's have this on the wall. I'll change the color. Let's change the food bowl to white. Ooh, okay. We have some nice curtain options here as well. I'm gonna add some curtains. I really like those. What else can we put in here? Let's add in a rug, but change the color of it. There we go. This room is very cat themed right now. I feel like we need to add something for the dogs. This expansion pack has quite a lot as well. What doggy items do we have? What about a dog bed? Here we have the dog beds. That's huge. I'm gonna use this dog bed as it's quite small and the cat could also use it. There we go. We have the pet room complete. Quite boring, but also kind of nice to have. To finish off this room, I'm gonna add in some more artwork onto the walls. Oh my gosh, look at that painting. That is amazing. I'm gonna use it. It's ridiculous and that's why I like it. Ta-da! That's our pet room done. Oh gosh, look at this house. It's a mess. Okay, we are moving on to the upstairs. I wanna design the bedroom next. Okay, which pack is gonna be the bedroom? Get famous. This is gonna be good. So this is the master bedroom. It's quite big. There has to be a bed in here, right? A get famous bed? There has to be. This is a very grand bed. Or we could have this one. I'm gonna go with the ridiculous bed. We just have to. Now we need some side tables. Tufted end table. That matches the bed quite well. Don't know what color we're gonna go with in this room yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Do we have any nice curtains not really ew i hate these curtains why is there never any nice curtain options <laughs> i have to go with these ridiculous ones at least they kind of match the bed i hate this room this room is so gross Let's add a mirror wait this mirror is so big and we need a rug oh my gosh i don't see a rug that i like ew look at this rug i'm gonna have to use it because there's not many options what else can we add in this like thin hallway. There are so many items on here, but there are not many items I would actually put in a bedroom. We could have a ship in the bedroom. Maybe more clothes. That's the only thing that can make any sense. No, that, that's like a horrible, horrible luggage thing. This is a very weird looking bedroom so far. Let's try and do the floor. What do we have for get famous floor? Maybe some marble flooring, would that look nice? Oh gosh. I do not like anything about this bedroom. You know what? I do not like anything about this house. I would not wanna live here at all. I'm trying my hardest to make this house look nice and the more I try, the worse it looks. How is that even possible? I mean, just look at this bedroom. This bedroom is horrific. We're gonna go with this really nice gold color. I'm gonna have to get rid of the rug because it doesn't match anything. Maybe I'm gonna have to make my own. Something I did not wanna do. I feel like I have no other choice. Okay, I made my own rug and I hate it. I hate everything about it. It is gross. And then we have the bedroom. I hate it. It's so gross. Not many rooms left to design now. What are we gonna get next? Let's see what we're gonna get. 
Discover University. That is going to be the theme for our bathroom. Okay, bathroom time. Oh my gosh, the only toilet option is a cubicle. Of course it is, because it's Discover University. Gosh, this is terrible. Okay, well, it looks like we're having a cubicle for the bathroom. Cool. That looks really nice, doesn't it? All right, what about shower? No baths, only a shower. Almost invisible shower, that can go there. Do we have a sink? Apparently not, so we can't wash our hands. Okay, well, at least we have curtains, so I guess we can have a little bit of privacy. Character defining rug. Honestly, I thought the bedroom was bad. I think this is gonna be worse. I don't even know what we can put in here. The curtains do cover up the windows like perfectly. They're not aesthetically pleasing at all, but I mean, Neva is a giant cubicle in the bathroom. And then what can this little room be then? Because it was meant to be a closet, but I actually don't know what I can put in this room. I don't have many options. Um, maybe a bookcase and a locker. I am not happy with this room. I hate this room so much. Can I at least make the cubicle a pretty color? I can have a pink cubicle. I have pink curtains. Yeah, I can. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Honestly, what the heck? I told you this challenge was gonna be hard. This is apparently the only floor. Cool. Oh gosh. Let's have it in this pink color. Um, for the walls, we have a few options for all of them kind of tragic. There we go. A nice pink bathroom. And by nice, I mean absolutely tragic. I think the bathroom is the worst room so far. Okay, we have two more rooms. We have this one, which I can make into anything. And then we have a patio. So what are we going to get next? Get to work. What can this room be? I truly don't know. These items are so strange. Maybe this can be another study room. So I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> There's not many things I can do with this room, to be honest. I don't know. So we do actually have a desk. That's great. We have a chair. So I guess this can be kind of be a computer room. Um, let's use that as our computer. We have lines that we can use. So at least we have some privacy in here. Oh gosh, this entire wall is just going to be lines, isn't it? That is horrible. And I regret that. I'm getting rid of them all. <laughs> um, Lamp? Why are there no normal lamps? I want a floor lamp and there are like no normal looking lamps. Okay, artwork. There's not many nice choices. So I'm gonna go with this one. Isn't that cute? And on the other side, we can have a little calendar. This is actually so much harder than I ever thought it would be. Let's go ahead and get this table. Let's put this lamp on it. Do we have a rug? I'm just trying to fill the room out because I really don't know what I can do with it. Oh, a clock. Cool, we could use a clock. Oh, a plant, that's something we can add in here too. <laughs> this is not a very nice looking room, not gonna lie. Let's add a rug in here too. I'm just gonna make this one a bit bigger. Maybe we can change the color. Blue and black. We have a very dark theme going on in this house and I'm not really a fan of it. Okay, let's finish off this room and then we can just move on to the next one and pretend it doesn't exist. Oh gosh, are you serious? This is the only wallpaper available. What even is this? It's awful. Okay, well, that room was also a fail. Let's see what we have for the floor. Again, just what are these flooring types? I have no idea. That's our study room. Uh, gosh, that was a horrible room. All of these rooms are horrible. I hate them all. I thought things couldn't get worse in the bathroom and I was wrong. What even is this room? Okay, now time for the final room, which I guess isn't even a room. It's just a little patio. But maybe we can get a nice table and chairs. <laughs> City living. Let's see. Maybe we just use these little cute chairs. This table does not match the chairs at all. I, oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna use this table, but I'm gonna change these chairs out. And we're gonna go with these metal chairs. Cute. What about decoration wise? Oh wow, these are cute little lanterns. Adding one onto the table as well. That's really cute. And there's not really many options to have outside. So maybe I'm just gonna add this little white horse decoration. I didn't have many other things to add there. 
but here is my house. There's nothing on the landing, but that's okay. I think that's probably my favorite room because the other ones are not that nice. We have this weird study, this disgusting bathroom, the over the top bedroom, the very cute but cluttered kitchen. I don't even know what you want to call this room. The pet room, which actually probably is my favorite room because I love pets. And then finally, the very boring living room with loads of plants, but not much to do in it. So there we have it, guys. This is my house that I made with all of the different expansion packs. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you'd like to see more challenges like this, please leave a like and maybe I'll try them out and hopefully they'll turn out better than this one did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one.